naam mpenzi mtazamaji wa runinga ya Kuza News TV ni wakati mwingine tena nachukua fursa hii kukaribisha ndani ya Kuza News TV ambapo leo hii ni mimi na mtangazaji wangu Mwenza boy na kere ngombe bwana the part of Migori County that Irongo constituency in Migori County. Mm. Today we are privileged, you can see on the end of us, that we are privileged to have a part of a river puja, which is not all the way from Yamira County. Yamira County is just one of the county number, number 46, which is situated in Nyanka uh, province. The, the, the previous story of the river is that it's a snake from a great port of Kenyan in part of Nyamira County, it's connecting Nyamira County. This is county, Nigori county, and then finally the Shire county, yeah. where it's going on the map, uh, the Victoria at large. Yeah. So, my friend today wants to see the, the importance of this river at large, because it's a, a river that's connecting several counties. It does not uh, open that it can use it as a traveling point, but it can yeah. use it as a point that the map is. You know, the issue about traveling point, I, as my journalist, my fellow journalist has said, as you can see at uh, this river, you can see the water is coming from the other side and the, it's fine, as you can yeah. see, that a vessel can move. But when it comes to this part, to, to this end, yeah. you can see there are some stones that have yeah. elapsed from yeah. the ground that gives that they, they are rocks. Yeah. That makes it difficult, they are just like cataracts. But the, if transport was to be done here, it was not to be somehow effective, as they, it will bar the transportation. And although you know, you can remember this river is one of those rivers that supply water to the school at large, you know, Rongo University. Most of the water which has been pumped is as full as from this river. And uh, Tanga National High School, they also use this water uh, uh, for their domestic use. So it's a river that is bringing its station all together. And it's a river that some of the points, some of the points, I mean, at Nigori County, the end of the Nigori County, when the river is swimming at Tondu. Uh, uh, there's a, a sitting point of the river. So you can get it the map very assisting the people of uh, uh, for the three counties. In Ikiti County, this river is used as a domestic of supplying water to the various homes. And the Hero Irrigation Scheme yeah. also. Yeah. yeah, this is one of the rivers by the name of the Hero Scheme in Migori County, as well as the Migori County. And also, my friend, I think the last time that we were here, we yeah. saw that our, the water level or the water volume was somehow. You can see that the water has risen, and yeah. this, I think, is due, due to the issue of the climate change and the El Nino rain. Yeah. That means that from the Kisi wow. County or the Kisi yeah. Highlands, yeah. there, yeah. uh, the, there is a lot of rain yeah. showing. And, re, and uh, at the back of my mind, knowing that Kisi is, uh, is having some highlands, yeah. and the Kisi Highlands, as it is being situated, as uh, this means that it is water catchment area and it will also cause yeah. the water to rise at this level. Yeah. As my friend has, also, has already said about it is important, he has just explained on the issue concerning yeah. this 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 river because it has seen that it is helping the people, not only the people but also the institution from the university whereby whereby most most of the university all the water that is being used in the university and I think that's why they brought they brought the initiative of putting the water treatment site at the Rongo University in which to fuel by this water. You know, this, water this water as as the uh, uh, the water is coming from various areas and uh, most of it is not pure so making it to be somehow impure and that's why when the water is being pumped to the school it is taken to the water treatment site so that it can be purified to make this case for you. And that's showing that Rongo University is one of the areas that is benefiting from this river as it gets it, it is water to run the institution. As you know that an institution without water it will be very difficult even for running to take place. So you may say that's why uh, yeah. yeah. no this river the most thing that is this river is uh, very important to the member of the coming that we have education taking place. Yeah. And if you understand the, the fact about this river it is uh, it's not a tsunami river, yeah. which is just uh, uh, a period of truth. And then of the you no know, January we, yeah. we yeah. believe that there's no rain yeah. so much. So but this river allows us for from January to, to January. So this river mostly used it to for domestic purposes in various homes. So irrigation purposes is so important from this river. So mm -hmm. that's why I say that it's a river that is uh, uh, helping the people of Nyanza, the people of Kesi Atlas to develop and the material that they have made a good progress on. on it.
So if you, uh, my cameraman controls it at this point, the river is on a very fast, uh, the, the water is just moving in a slow motion. Well, for those who did geography, you can understand that when the river, the, the depth of the water is moving at the slow motion, it's meaning that the, the depth uh, at, uh, at this point, we have what we call a high depth uh, yeah. at this Still point. Still water deep. Yeah. That's why there's a, a big precaution which I will take to the, my viewers and those people who may think to come and uh, take a natural walk here. That when you uh, come near to this place, make sure you take a precaution and uh, you don't uh, make yourself and uh, you may send yourself in a bad situation. And also to situation. talk about the issue about the water, it seems that the, since we have come here today, yeah. means that the, the water here has been many, as my camera person can show you, if you look at those the plants there, you will see that they have been soiled by, by the water. Means that the water has already reached at that point, making the plants to, to follow the, yeah. the direction. The direction of yeah. the, the movement of the water. Yeah, so yeah, you can yeah. see even that there is a what we call rand moving. The, 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 the rand has been uh, uh, a rand slide which has been taken place. In my cameraman can zoom and uh, so you have a clear picture of uh, a rand slide which has taken place at that point. Of, uh, I think there's a tree which has been yeah. uh, uh, uprooted. uprooted by water. Mm -hmm. So it can show you that there's a uh, uh, high forces which are of water landing at this point. And showing that, and it's showing that water. the water at this point that there's a uh, rand uh, oh side God. of uh, uh, water. Mm. So uh, that is uh, uh, been our natural walk at River Fuja, which is uh, uh, part of uh, part of it, which is created in uh, Megori County, Rondo yeah. constituency. Yeah. How been you are a guest uh, for today of the natural walk of Fusa TV? Remember, you will find that there's a very very uh, important work at Fusa News TV. Fusa News the background for the story. And as today we have brought, uh, brought you a very, very a uh, background story which you don't know. My name is Bonifacio Yunga, Musa TV. Amazing. He has been Bonifacio Yunga and he has told you about the issue as we have discussed today, the importance of Rifakuja as we have discussed how Rifakuja helps to support education, yeah. not only education, the irrigation, farming, everything. And this is, it has been has been something that has been amazing as we have run from trailer to people here as you can see we have seen that the water has helped in several ways and uh, i thank you for your time for you have been with us following us and also remember that this you only get it at Kusa news tv the background for this story i've been yours granya chai till next time see you again